Luigi is trapped in a room with exactly 100 mystery doors, but only one will let him escape. Mario is trapped right now, and Luigi has to find the one secret exit that will let Luigi save Mario. The first door that Luigi chooses is this blue door, and that makes him fall into a very long clear pipe, and we can see that Luigi is moving along, he's going up the stairs, and he is moving into the spaghetti section over here. This is a very long clear pipe that I made over here, and Luigi is making his way onto the top layer of the spaghetti section right now. And where is he going to go next in the clear pipe section? He is coming around to the cinnamon bun section, where where he is going in a large spiral shape like this, moving towards the center over here. Leave a comment if you know what a cinnamon bun is. And now Luigi's going over to a smaller cinnamon bun, heading away from the level, going into a warp box here, and ending up back where he started. That was not the exit to save Mario. The next door that Luigi tries is this red one, and he ends up in a room with lava. Mario, I'm -a going to save you. I'm -a going to take this leaf, and I'm -a going to find the door to save Mario. Luigi gets a superstar power-up, so he is in Invincible. He makes his way up here. He sees a door in the distance. Could that be the door that will let Luigi go and save Mario? Luigi floats across, lands on one of the bullet bill launchers, jumps over to the next one, makes it through the door, and that brings him back to the room. The next door that Luigi chooses is this green door on the left, and that brings him to a room with three cannon launchers and a brick wall in front of him. So let's try out these three cannon launchers. The first one with just one coin in front of it. When Luigi goes into that, he is very, very slowly launched into to the wall and nothing really happens he just slides down it when Luigi goes into the second one he's launched much more quickly but he just slides down the wall so there's only one more cannon launcher to check so let's check this third one will this be the fastest one of all it is so fast that Luigi is launched through the wall could this be the door that we need Luigi goes through the door and we're back where we started the next door that Luigi chooses is this black door here and that brings him into a skate in Super Bell Hill where the floor is lava and it's actually so cool that you can skate on lava I think that is such a cool feature in this game. Luigi jumps up here, bonked, gets rid of the skate, tests this door, and that door brings him to this second floor of the 100 Mystery Doors room. Now that Luigi is on floor two, he goes into this pink door, and he falls down, and it looks like we can't go back into this door over here because there's no floor over there, and the door is way up high, so Luigi can't make his way back into this door. What are we going to do, and how are we going to get out of here? Because we still have to save Mario, so there are three Goombas trapped inside this cave over here. Maybe there's something that we can do with these Goombas. Luigi does have the Tanuki Leaf power-up, but when we ground pound on this cage, we can't get through it. We don't have a key for the lock, but we could use our tail to swipe at these Goombas and defeat them. So when Luigi defeats the final Goomba over here, a warp box appears, and that brings us back to floor two. Luigi goes into this green door next, and that brings him to a green grassy island. There's a block over here, but this block is blocking the door that we have to go through, and there are some arrows showing us that we should be going to this door over here. So how in the world can we make it through here? It doesn't look like there's anything around that'll let us get rid of this block. So let's climb up this tree, and when we reach the top of the tree, a bomb pops out. So Luigi can grab this bomb. The bomb is about to explode. He throws the bomb. That explosion is close enough to get rid of that. We can go through this door, and that brings us back to floor two. The next door that Luigi goes through is this light ghost-like door. Luigi falls down, and what is inside this room is a cage with a lot of Goombas, and not just regular Goombas, but we can see that there are ceiling Goombas over here. Watch closely to see what happens when Luigi lands on this P-Switch. All of a sudden, the upside-down Goombas go flying up to the ceiling, back to the rightful ceiling where they belong, and there are all these Goombas down here. So where we need to go is we need to, of course, get out of here. Let's go into this warp box and try and save Mario. Next, Luigi decides to go to this purple door in the corner here, and that brings him to a bullet bill launcher, but there is something very, very special about this bullet bill launcher, and you will notice in just a moment. You may have noticed that these bullet bills are actually moving incredibly slowly. I set the speed of these bullet bills to be a really, really low speed. And the next island that we have to get to, there is a door over there across to the right, but there's no way that we can float across that far. So what Luigi has to do is he actually has to wait for a bunch of these bullet bills to come out. These bullet bills form a sort of bullet bill trade as it slowly extends out of the bullet bill launcher. And I'm actually speeding up this part of the video because this actually takes a few minutes of Luigi waiting here for this to get long enough. And you might have noticed how funny their little arms work, the way that their arms kind of go in sync like this, the way that one arm moves up and the next arm moves down. It's almost like some kind of little 
caterpillar or something. So after waiting for long enough, Luigi thinks that the bullet bills are long enough. He jumps, he floats, lands on the bullet bill, floats, and makes it across to the door. Thank goodness we were able to make it across. And we've still got the very slow moving bullet bills off there to the left. So let's go through this pink door and see if now we can save Mario. But that brings us to floor three. Luigi decides to go into this ice colored door next, and that brings him into a warp box. And that warp box brings him to another warp box. And we can see that we've got some warp boxes here in really cool colors. We've got all the colors of the rainbow over here, but it looks like Luigi's being brought from warp box to warp box. Hopefully it is not an infinite loop, but Luigi ends up back in the 100 mystery doors room. Next, Luigi goes into the green mystery door on floor three, and that brings him to a room with two mystery pipes. Where could these pipes lead? The first pipe leads to the second pipe, and the second pipe leads back to the first pipe. So it looks like this is not the room that we need to save Mario. Luigi goes into this cyan door on the left next, and that brings him to another grassy area. He jumps up on top of this clear pipe, and to the right over here, he sees a very wide Goomba, and it is always fantastic to see wide Goombas going through clear pipes like this. I remember this was one of the first mods that I ever made in Super Mario 3D World, back when I was first starting my channel and first starting out this game. So Luigi watches the wide Goomba go through the clear pipe. Luigi hops in after it, and something special happens if they collide. If they collide, the Goomba is defeated and Luigi gets a coin. So he goes through this black door, and that brings him up to the fourth floor. Next, Luigi goes into the purple door here, and he is in the mystery coin room. There are coins flying around everywhere in all kinds of weird shapes over here. These are all actually coins arranged to be moving in circles, but every coin as you move towards the right, there are more coins in the circle, and some of the coins are moving in different directions. So this is a cool way to see how coins could move like this, and it's also a nice spot for Luigi to collect some coins and get another life. Luigi goes into this next purple door, and it looks like he can't go back into the purple door from which he came, but there's a green door down here, but there's a cage blocking this door, so we can't get in here. There's no way for us to get in here, is there? If you were in this room right now, what do you think you would have to do to clear this room? You might think that this switch gets rid of the cage, and it might do that, but it might also do something else. So the cage does disappear. Luigi goes through the green door, and when he comes back to the room of 100 mystery doors, it is all filled with water. So now Luigi is swimming around, and hopefully he can still save Mario. The first door that Luigi goes through on this top level is this blue door right here, and that brings him up somewhere high, and then he just falls back into the water. So even though it was cool to see that from another perspective, that is not the exit that we are looking for. So let's try another door. Luigi goes over to the left over here thinking that this red door might be a good idea, but before he could reach it, he just suddenly dies. But that is okay because Luigi does still have some more lives, so he decides to go into this red door up here, and that brings him to a grassy area with a game show. If Luigi can name any of the characters in these crates, if he gets a single name right, then he will get to save Mario. So Luigi, what is this character named? Eh, this is a Zelda! No! Luigi! That's a not Zelda! That's a Link! Let's go to the next crate. Maybe Luigi can have better luck this time. Let's see what character is in this box. Please break the box, Luigi! Who is this character, Luigi? Eh, I know! This is a Pokémon! No! Luigi, that's a Kirby! Don't you know from a Super Smash Bros? And from a Kirby games? Eh, what's a Kirby game? There are still three attempts left to save Mario. Luigi needs only one correct answer. Luigi, please tell the audience that you know who this character is. Yahoo! This is a Mr. Blacky Blacky! No! Luigi! You got to do better! You got to save me! That is a Steam from a Minecraft! Only two boxes are left. Is Luigi going to be able to save Mario or no. He opens up this box and look who is inside. Leave a comment if you know who this character is. Hopefully Luigi will be able to tell who this is. Luigi, do you know who this is? Yeah, he's a blue, he's a fast, it is Blue Mario! No! All right, Luigi, it all comes down to this. It is the final block. Luigi opens the block and it is a shadow of a character. So this one will be very difficult. He might not be able to guess who this is. And since this is the final box, the final attempt to save Mario, Luigi, you are allowed to ask Mario for help in this one. It's a you, Luigi! It's a Luigi! It's a Luigi! Say that it's a Luigi! Please, Luigi, you got to help me! Eh, uh, I think of this character is Green Mario! Cause it's a Mario! No, Luigi! 
<laughs> oh, I'm here, Mario. I'm going to save you. Luigi, you are all right. I'm so sorry that I got angry at you, even though you are trying to save me. I'm going to save you now. Ha-ho! <laughs> I'm free! Yahoo! I really recommend you watch my video where Mario is trapped in a room with 100 mystery doors but only one lets Mario escape. Today is the two year anniversary of that video. It is the most popular video on my channel. The last two years of my life have been unbelievable. Thank you so much for all of the support by watching these videos. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day ahead of you. And take care everybody.